Hi, my name is Winnie Lane. Um, I am an athletic academic advisor at Cleveland State University. Winnie, can you talk about what Title IX means to you? So I, I did research and I went back and three words that came to mind are obviously opportunity, um, empowerment, and growth. And then I thought of one more after that, I thought of um, a voice where because of Title IX, it was prior to it was silent and now women have a voice in an array, not just athletics, but an array of different areas. You were a student athlete yourself. Can you talk about what that opportunity and experience provided to you? Oh gosh, yeah. Um, so I have an older sister. I have two older sisters, but one is 13 years older than me. So when she was in her formative years, younger years in school, she did not have Title IX. And there were no sports when she was growing up. Um, no organized in like school, obviously like on the playground, but um, then I fast forward to my middle sister and myself and we had all the opportunities, you know, it, it was it was still pretty early on in Title IX, but we still had the opportunities to go out there. There was organized basketball. Our um, elementary school had a, a girls basketball team and um, those are the things that stick with me. And again, I, I went to college in the 80s and Title IX um, was there, it helped, but um, over the years, again, the growth of Title IX, um, I didn't go in on a full scholarship. And now basketball players, women's basketball players are entitled and have had that opportunity, which is great. Again, growth is what it's all about. Throughout the years, what has been the most impactful event or opportunity or experience related to Title IX that you have witnessed? I would, I, I would say I'm going to focus on being at CSU. And when I started here, um, there, there wasn't a women's soccer team. Um, there were administrators that were also coaches. And, and most of those were women um, coaches. Um, and I, I credit them and um, and the people early, early on in the, I don't want to call it a fight, but the, the push for Title IX and um, the enactment of it, I, I credit those women. I think of like Dr. Sue Ziegler. Um, she was a professor at the university. She was our faculty athletic rep. Alice Cole was a senior woman administrator, also a basketball coach. Um, they were the you know the pioneers, the early on administrators and faculty people that were constant advocates for Title IX. Um, so a lot of things changed. We we now have full time coaches in basketball. We have tennis was always a part time coaching um, position. We have a full time coach there. Uh, cross country, same thing. So. I, I would say within the department and for the betterment of CSU, that's probably the most impactful. <clears throat> in your current role as an academic advisor, you now have the opportunity to make an impact on numerous student athletes' lives. What do you hope that all student athletes get out of their time at Cleveland State? Well, like, like Title IX, uh, growth as a student, as an athlete, and then as an individual, as a person, so that they can go on. They're going to be our, our future leaders and administrators and business owners. Um, that's the, the thing that it is all about college athletics, that growth. One final thing for you. Can you finish this sentence for us? Being an advisor at Cleveland State allows me to... to be a small part of that growth of all of our student athletes to to be in the the thick of things with them and and in that freshman year helping them and guiding them a little bit more and then watching that that growth into the sophomore year and then maturing to be more self-sufficient that's just being a small part of that is very important to me